go over to cockpit and see what we got here. All right, um, well, this is the CNS ATN cockpit. Uh, first of all, there's a few similarities between this and, and the Legacy. The engine instruments are, are the same, and they're what we're used to seeing in, in the old style cockpit. Um, so they're in the same spot. You still got your caution and advisory panels uh, where they were located. The hydraulics gauges have moved up here. Uh, they cabin pressure and uh, max rudder gauges moved around a little bit as well. And then you've got your gear and trim indicators over there. Um, but then they stuck the two displays in there. You've got the, I believe it's a 6x8 display over here, 9x12 on that side. Uh, it'll give you your, your attitude information, your, uh, your heading information on the bottom. Uh, you've got an airspeed scale on the right, and a, or on the left, and then an altitude scale on the right. Over here you've got your BSI on the outside and then your uh, angle of attack on the outside of the, uh, of the airspeed gauge. Uh, also, if you've got any caution or advisory lights, they'll, they'll come up on the, on the displays as well. Um, now you can toggle this display and switch over to uh, a map mode, which will give you similar to what you see on the right side, but you'll see a map of the uh, of any sort of area boundaries or anything like that, which is nice when you're when you're trying to remain within a restricted area or something like that. You can pull that up and just toggle back and forth between your flight director and uh, and that mode. Uh, also, you've got the uh, the Garmin display here, which uh, a lot of the planes in the fleet already have this, which is really nice to have. And it's it's a great it's a great piece of equipment. It's always always on. It's always uh, it always knows where it is, and it, it really never misses a beat. It seems like so it's nice to have. Um, the display on the right there, you can see you've got the same flight director and the map mode that are up there. If you want to, you can turn off the flight director and just go straight to a map mode, which uh, will pop up here. If well, okay, it may, it may be predicated on what's turned on in the back, but normally you get a full screen map display there, which is similar to, oh there it goes, so that'll give you your full screen map display, and you can zoom in and zoom out uh, as need be, and then uh, switch back to the flight director mode. And one of the fail safes, if you've got this up on, uh, on the right side, and you try to switch over on the left side, it won't let you do it. I'm trying to switch to the map mode over here, but it'll never let you disable the flight director on both sides at once. So you've always got to have that up on one side at least. What are you able, what different options do you have on the primary flight display? Uh, well, it's pretty much laid out as it is right now. You can you can cycle through, uh, where is it? Some of the information is displayed down here, like your ground speed. Um, you can select your, your nav source as well. So I'm going to get my arm out of the way there. Like I'm cycling through the VOR as a nav source, FMS1, FMS2. If you have it selected on the other side, it'll box it like that and let you know that okay. you want to typically have two alternate nav sources uh, selected. Um, you can change the display on the HSI to, uh, let me see if I can get it to pull up. Uh, there we go. And there we go. That'll give you a large scale uh, HSI display just if you. If you want a little more resolution on your heading information, you can do that. Um, and then back to that, you can also overlay the map or your flight plan over the HSI or back to uh, sort of a CDI mode. So that'll tell you how uh, far off course you are just by flying the CDI. What is the thinking behind having the 6x8 for the, the, the pilot in command and then the, the bigger multifunction for the... I, I think they're sort of leaning towards having a, a tactical capability in the right seat, okay. whereas this is uh, just dedicated to uh, flying the aircraft. So, um, and plus with the real estate that was available with the engine instruments and everything, you know, short of taking engine instruments and putting them on the display, they decided to leave it like that and then just have this this uh, smaller flight display on the pilot side. Because, I, like I said, the, the the thought is that eventually they'll have some sort of tactical capability in the right seat. Well, how, uh, what are the similarities with the D model? Is this uh, comparable to what's going to be on the D? It's comparable. I, th I believe the displays are similarly sized, and the, the D model has a large, I'm not sure if it's one or two, but they've got large displays for all the engine instruments and all the advisories and everything. Right. So this all goes away, okay. and you'll have glass panels for, for that stuff as well. Okay. And then you don't have the Garmin in the, in the D model either. Okay. 